In the wake of George Floyd's death, we've seen Confederate flags and monuments come down right and left. And right now, there's a petition making the rounds on social media. It is calling for the takedown of the Confederate monument in Graham. Thousands of people already signed it. But w News 2's Jess Winters learned action must be taken on a state level, not local. Some say Confederate statues like this one in Graham represent American history. Others say it's a symbol of racism then and now. Who could forget this video of Confederate soldier Silent Sam toppling over at UNC Chapel Hill in 2018? <laughs> Two years later, the push to remove Confederate monuments is stronger than ever. The petition states that we should be acting on this. Graham Mayor Jerry Peterman says he is aware there's a change.org petition calling for him to get rid of the Confederate statue in front of the old courthouse. But whether this soldier stands or falls is not up to city council at all. And everybody assumes that it's within the city of Graham's uh, purview, uh, but it is not. Uh, the statue is standing on North Carolina State Highway 87, uh, the road that's maintained by the DOT and it's actually owned by the United Doors of the Confederacy. The North Carolina Historical Monuments Law protects Confederate monuments so long as they're on public property. If I was wanting to take it down, I would go through the the state legislatures wherever you're at. You know, you could do it throughout the entire state. They can't do it just for Graham. A lot of you have asked if there's 24 seven security on the statue since others have been forcibly taken down nationwide. The Alamance County Sheriff's Office says they always patrol this area and it's not unordinary to see a patrol car out here. Plus, they have surveillance video all around.